to 10 after two. And the steps over the line, onside, drops it back towards the net, fluttering rebound, it's still loose. And it's cut high in the zone, Lumberjacks holding on to it. In front, good glove save made. Gaffney tried to walk it onside. They'll center in a chance, great defensive effort by Kessler. On the penalty kill, how aggressive will they be? They're down by three, and here we go, we get the answer now. Three on two, they cross onside, Mazur in front of the net. Oh, and it just rolled on Dibus. Cal Dibus centers, Mazur oh. five scores! Mazur, short-handed goal! Tri-City on the board for the first time tonight. Carter Mazur. Here. Lumberjacks look to fire, they do, save made by Ouellette. Point. Here comes Tri-City with numbers, they step on side, it's Kester, backhand drive, and it's in behind the net. When the face off, maybe a set play here with a coin going in front of the net, and now he overskated, he gets it back. Here's a backhand of Joey Cipollone. Cipollone give and go, a drive on that big rebound, he fired again, it's saved, it's loose. And, and it's Speedy Carter Mazer, right wing, here he comes, fires, oh, and it's saved. Storm can't get it back. Now they look for it again. Numbers down low. They look to fire. It's in behind that rep chance right there on the goal line. They attempt to put it home. It's behind the goal. Close in front of the net. They'll fire again. It's blocked. It's down the ice. There's no goaltender to play it. Muskegon will end it. Pitlick fires near side pass. They score. It's 4-1. to one. Empty net goal with 114 left to go in the third period. And the Muskegon Lumberjack. Neutral ice. Onside. One last chance from Klapka. Loads up. Drag move. Doesn't work. And Tri-City has dropped tonight's game. They fall to four, or they fall by the score of 4-1, and they fall